2011 uh, Mercedes, uh, no crack, no start. Of course, if it doesn't crack, I wouldn't start. So I'm just gonna show you uh, how I diagnose it without going into a lot of details in between the ignition switch and the starter. So I'm suspecting the starter, but I just wanna confirm it's the starter. And um, this is very tough starter to replace. It's right there. On this particular vehicle, it is on the driver's side of the engine. So if you're sitting inside the car, it's on the left side. So what I did here, uh, every time I turn the ignition on, uh, I hear nothing. So it could be many things, it could be the relay, it could be the computer, it could be any anything in between the starter and the ignition, it depends on the uh, year, make and model of any vehicle. But this method very much applies to every vehicle. Um, maybe some exception, but literally I would say over 90% of the cars, this is how it is. So we have, uh, this is the starter. <coughs> the starter right there. So there is a hot wire on the starter trying to point at it as much as I can. This one here, this is a battery voltage, comes directly from the battery sometimes. Um, it comes from the hot, from the alternator, but anyway, it has a 12 volt battery on it all the time. Always uh, hot on this area. So that's why if you disconnect it, you have to disconnect the battery before you do anything here. The other wire or the other uh, as you see here, uh, my red probe, my red uh, alligator wire connected. This is the switch signal. When you turn the ignition on all the way to the start position, this is where this wire gets the power to the solenoid and activate the fork into the armature and moves the gear into the flywheel in order for the vehicle to start. So, I just want to go to the end of it I don't want to go in between I'm gonna apply ignition uh, switch on I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna see if there is power comes to this red wire my wire here I connected it to that ignition switch terminal here where that you see the um, the green arrow I hope you can see it so I'm gonna go to the car on the top, I'm gonna go inside, but before I go inside I'm gonna go to the starter relay and do one thing here, I'll show you what I do. So here is my red wire, this one here connected to the start wire on the starter and I have a uh, test light here so the test light very much is the starter right now so when you turn the ignition on to the start position this light is supposed to turn on so I'm gonna do it in two different ways I'm gonna go to the uh, relay first and I'm gonna trigger the relay and see if this light turns on so here is the uh, the starter relay, I have my own adapter so I could have access to it. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ground the ignition is already on, so I'm gonna ground the starter. Let's just hold this right. Uh, you probably can hear it, it turns on. So if you see the light right there every time I ground the relay the circuit to close and there is power going to the starter so the starter is not turning on so this is from the relay direct so now we're gonna make sure that from the ignition switch the power going to this to the relay and going to the starter so I'm gonna go inside the vehicle Sorry for the 
on a stable movement. I'm on the top of the lift. So let me bring this test light here and this is very much simulates the starter. So every time you turn the ignition on. So this is the ignition. So this is the, you're gonna match the off position, this is the on position, so you're gonna go to the start position like this. Let me see if I could point it both at the same time. One second. So, let's see if this is working here. Okay, so let me turn the ignition to the start position, as you can see. The light turns on. It's gonna turn off in a second. So very much the ignition, the computer, everything in between, it doesn't matter what it is, it's doing its job. So the as soon as I turn this to a start position, the starter gets the power and needs it. So that test light, it's a starter simulator, if you wanna if you wish to call it this way. So as soon as I turn the Ignition to the start again. Let me go off. As you can see, it has power. So this is definitely the starter issue. So I don't have to check anything between. You don't want to go crazy checking everything and end up to be the starter. This is just the easiest way to check uh, if there is a starter issue and this is applied to like I said to many vehicles so it's put it this way if you have um, a light bulb that doesn't work and there is a computer in between that light bulb there is a switch that turns the light bulb on as soon as you give it command on the light should, should go on so if the light didn't go on most of the time it's the light bulb is bad or the switch is bad or anything in between. So I don't want to check in between when it comes to a vehicle because most of the stuff hidden and you need a computer and you need a scanner, which is I already did scan the car, but for some average person, DIY, you don't have these kind of equipment. So this is a shortcut. Okay, so you check either the bulb or the switch. So you go to the bulb, uh, the light bulb and you turn the ignition on and the switch on and you see if there is power right on the bulb and you need pro you know, most of the time negative or positive so if you, if you if you lack one of those very much the, the the light will not go on so that very much that light is the starter as you see the, my light test lights down here what it did so as soon as i give turn the ignition to the start position it did do its job it went it sent the so that sent the power through the relay to the starter, uh, but the starter did not act. So, this, and specifically, I'm talking about the solenoid on the starter did not do its job to start the vehicle. So that's very much a simple way I can put it, so to understand the concept. So this is really it's not fun job to do the starter on this car, but. I'll do it. This is the electrical part of it. I hope uh, this video was uh, helpful for somebody who's starting doing electrical diagnosis on a starter or an ignition. And I uh, just uh, hope if you comment, if you have any comments, if you want to give me anything to do in the future, I'll take it as an advice. Uh, thank you for watching.